Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're delving into a hot topic in the world of DevOps, Salt Stack versus Ansible, two powerful tools for configuration management and automation. But how do they stack up against each other? Which one should you choose for your next project? Let's find out. First thing first, let's talk about configuration management tools in general. These tools are essential for managing and automating the setup of your infrastructure, ensuring consistency and reducing manual errors. Both SaltStack and Ansible fall into this category, but they have different approaches and philosophies. So let's break down what each of these tools is all about. SaltStack is developed in Python. It is designed for high-speed, event-driven IT automation, and it uses a master minion architecture, but support a masterless mode as well. Coming to Ansible, it is also developed in Python. It is known for its simplicity and ease of use, and it uses an agentless architecture, connecting over SSH or WinRM. Let's deep dive into the architecture. As discussed, SaltStack uses a master minion setup where the master manages a fleet of minions. This is great for scaling across thousands of servers and handling high frequency events. SaltStack is designed to push configurations from the master to minions and can handle real-time data due to its event-driven nature. Ansible, on the other hand, is agentless. This means you don't need to install any software on the target machines. It uses SSH or WinRM to communicate with the servers. This makes Ansible lightweight and easy to set up, especially in environments where you want to minimize dependencies. Now let's talk about how easy these tools are to use. Ansible uses YAML, which is a human readable language. This makes it beginner friendly. You can describe your infrastructure in simple YAML files known as playbooks, and Ansible will take care of the rest. SaltStack also uses YAML, but with a more detailed approach called SLS. While SaltStack can be a bit more complex to learn initially, it offers a lot of power and flexibility. You can perform complex orchestration tasks and take advantage of Salt's event-driven architecture. Performance and scalability are crucial when you're managing large environments. SaltStack shines in high-frequency environments where quick, real-time responses are needed. Its architecture is designed to handle thousands of minions and support a vast number of concurrent connections. Ansible, while powerful, may face limitations in extremely large-scale environments due to its agentless nature. Each task execution requires an SSH connection, which can add overhead. However, for most small to medium scale environments, Ansible is more than capable of handling the workload. Community and support can make a big difference as well, especially when you're troubleshooting or looking for new ways to optimize your automation workflows. Ansible, being part of Red Hat, has a very large community and strong enterprise support. There are countless modules and plugins developed by the community, making it highly extensible. SaltStack, now under VMware, also has a strong community. It's been around for a while, and you'll find plenty of resources, but it might not be as extensive as Ansible's. However, if you're looking for a tool, that offers more in-depth automation capabilities with real-time data processing, SaltStack is worth considering. So, which tool should you use? It ultimately depends on your specific use case and the need of your environment. Let's dive deeper into some of the scenarios where each tool excels. Ansible is particularly strong in scenarios where simplicity and quick deployments are key. Here are a few use cases where Ansible really shines. If you're managing a small number of servers, say up to a few hundred, 
Ansible's agentless architecture makes it easy to get up and running without a load of overhead. Ansible is excellent for managing a diverse set of systems, whether you're working with Linux, Windows, or cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Ansible's vast module library supports a wide range of operations. For developers who want to automate the deployment of applications across different environments, dev, staging, production, Ansible's simplicity and playbook-driven approach are ideal. You can define your deployment process once and reuse it across different environments. And if you frequently need to run quick one-off commands across multiple servers, Ansible is perfect. With its agentless design, you can connect to servers instantly and execute commands without needing a persistent agent running in the background. Ansible is increasingly used in network automation. Its ability to interact with networking devices using SSH and its comprehensive set of modules for various network vendors make it a popular choice for managing network configurations and deployments. SolStack, on the other hand, is more powerful in certain contexts where real-time data processing and high-frequency automation are needed. Let's look at some scenarios where SolStack stands out. If you're managing thousands or even tens of thousands of servers, SolStack master minion architecture is built for scalability. It can handle high volumes of messages and commands, making it suitable for large enterprises with massive infrastructures. SolStack ability to react to events in real time allows for more sophisticated automation strategies. For example, you can automatically scale resources up or down in response to specific triggers such as CPU load or application demand. For organizations that need to enforce strict security policies across their infrastructure, SolStack can automate security compliance checks and remediation tasks. You can set up continuous compliance monitoring and automatically apply security patches as soon as vulnerabilities are detected. SolStack excels in environments where you need to automate complex workflows involving multiple steps and dependencies. It can manage the orchestration of tasks that require precise timing and coordination across different systems and applications. SolStack event-driven architecture is perfect for real-time monitoring of infrastructure. You can set up custom event handlers that trigger automated responses to specific conditions, such as restarting a service if it crashes or notifying administrators if a critical server goes down. If you're already using VMware products for your virtualization needs, SolStack provides deeper integration, especially after being acquired by VMware. This makes it a strong candidate for organizations heavily invested in VMware technologies. To sum it up, Ansible is ideal if you're looking for a straightforward, easy to use tool that doesn't require agents and works well across different platforms and smaller to medium environments. It's great for quick deployments, network automation, and environments where you don't need high-frequency automation or real-time event handling. On the other hand, SolStack is your go-to if you're managing large-scale environments with thousands of servers, need real-time event-driven automation, or want to leverage its powerful orchestration capabilities and integrations with VMware. It's also a strong choice for environments where high security and compliance are critical. Choosing between these two tools depends largely on your specific needs, the size and nature of your infrastructure, and your team's familiarity with the tool sets. Don't forget, the best tool is the one that fits seamlessly in your workflow and enhance your operational efficiency. That's all for today's video. If you found this comparison helpful, make sure to give a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel for more DevOps content and drop a comment below 
which tool you're using and why. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.